We often forgot how small things we do during festival can cause harm to the environment. This year, we believe it's time for some eco-consciousness. So here are some simple ways to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi in an eco-friendly way. So my friends, Smith and Angel are going to tell you which step should be taken for eco-friendly Ganesha. Use eco-friendly Ganesh idols. Ganesh idols made of plaster of Paris, chemicals and other non-biodegradable materials can harm the nature. So instead use paper mesh or clay as they are biodegradable in nature. Biodegradable material do not pollute the nature after immersion. Sweet as well. Big idols occupy a lot of space and take a lot of time to dissolve in water. Huge idols are made of POP which are harmful to the environment. Remember, our emotion should be big, not the idol. Conserve energy. We all love fairy lights and bright bulbs, but they are a waste of energy and are expensive too. Replace this with compact fluorescent light as they conserve energy and are cheap also. Use natural colors for rangoli. Use biodegradable colors such as henna, rice powder, colored dye, turmeric and gulal to make rangolis. These colors are eco-friendly and safe. Say no to noise pollution. Avoid playing loud music which can cause disturbance in your society. Try playing instruments that are soft. Loudspeakers create noise pollution and can annoy hospital, school and your neighborhood. Ban plastic. There is a lot of delicious food served at our home during Ganpati. Fruits and sweets are also offered at Pandal. Skip plastic and try to serve food in natural plates such as banana leaves. Limit the number of public Pandals. Festivals are supposed to bring people together. So, instead of celebrating Ganesh Chaturthi in separate Pandal, make one big Pandal for your whole society. Remember, more Pandal means wastage of electricity, more noise pollution and garbage also. Artificial Immersion Tank Using ad, using lakes, rivers, ponds, seas to immerse Ganesh idol can be health hazard and it is bad for the environment. Use artificial immersion tank for immersing the idols. Compost pit for organic material. Collect separately after festival. Offering of flower, garlands and other biodegradable material and put them in community built compost pit. This compost can be used to fertilize your gardens. If you are going to immerse them, wrap them in newspaper instead of polythene bags as a newspaper is biodegradable materials. Dried flowers can also be used to make natural colors. Symbolic immersion. Instead of immersing Ganesha either in the water bodies, it can be symbolically immersed at home. Some people use stone or metal idols and symbolically immerse it in a bucket of water or even carry it to the procession to the sea. Hold it to water for some time and bring it back home and then keep it for the next year. Thank you for the valuable information. Pledge means an oath to fulfill our duties. So let's take a vow with Sparsh and Sparshita. The pledge India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be. Worthy of it, I shall give my parents, teachers, all elders, respect and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion in their well-being and prosperity alone lies my Yoga is an ultimate act of harmony between one's physical existence and spiritual conscience. Perfect synchronization between the mind and the body is known as yoga. More than a physical form of exercise, it's considered as a spiritual act that makes you aware of yourself. So to perform some steps of yoga, here I would like to call Arpita Padmavar. Good morning, I am Arpita. Today we will learn some asans of yoga. First asan is Vrikshasan. For Vrikshasan, keep your body straight and take your left leg up. And now inhale and keep your both hands up. Remain in this position for 10 seconds. Exhale and keep your hands down slowly. Keep your leg also down slowly.
repeat the same steps with your second side. Now keep your left leg up. And take your both hands up and inhale. Remain in this position for 10 seconds. Now slowly exhale and keep your hands down. Keep your leg also slowly down. And now Ustrasan. For Ustrasan, we have to sit in Vajrasan. Now, keep your legs aside. And now, take your hands back to your leg. Keep in this position as long as possible. And now take your hands front and chest to your legs. Now remain in Vajras. Now we will do Ardha Matasendra Asana. For it we have to do stretch our legs front and now bend it. Take your left leg to your hip and second leg the side of our left leg and take your left leg, left hand to your left leg and your second hand means right hand to your back and look at your country is like the shelter for us which facilitates us security and many more facilities. As we need to give honor and respect to our nation. So get ready for the national song. One Thank you and have a nice day.